It's Chelsea Messenger with picks and parlays. We're talking a Sunday night football, Bears and Packers. We've got a nice little special. We've got 50% off two for one weekly passes, which means you get the picks from two handicappers for the price of one, just $114.99. And you need to use the link, picksandparlays.net slash turkey. Packers, big home favorites in this one, minus eight and a half. The total is 45. The Packers are seven and three on the year, six and four against the number. Meanwhile, the Bears are five and five straight up and against the spread. Now, the Bears do have a little extra rest coming into this one, but I don't know if that's enough for me to want to trust their offense. It's been absolutely anemic as of lately. Uh, and then the, the stat that everyone likes to bring up, Aaron Rodgers against the spread after a loss is 25, 13, and 1. Good for a 65% success rate. We've got Lee from ASA to break this one all down. Lee, what are some of the factors that you're looking at? Well, this is this is a tough one. Again, uh, like I say, I like to side with underdogs, especially uh, ugly underdogs in the NFL. But I'm going to lean towards Green Bay in this one minus the points. As you mentioned, Aaron Rodgers off a loss is very, very good. This was interesting. Uh when leading by 14 or more points, Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers were 96 and three straight up until last week. Now they're 96 and four. So that was a tough loss. They had some questionable play calling in the second half. Their offense did not look good in the third and fourth quarters. Now the Bears are coming off a week of rest, but have they fixed their offense? They changed to a new offensive coordinator prior to their last game against Minnesota. They looked miserable. They looked atrocious. Um, they're averaging just 4.7 yards per play. That's 31st in the NFL. They're 31st in total yards per game. They're 32nd in rushing. They're 31st in scoring. On and on and on. We don't know who's going to start at quarterback. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be Trubisky. It looks like it's going to be Tyler Bray. Nick Foles, we don't know. Uh, but whoever it is, the Vikings or uh, the Bears offense has just been awful. Uh, 10 first downs against the Vikings, 13 points. Uh, they haven't topped 24 points in seven straight games. So we can kind of count on Green Bay maybe getting to that 24 points. I think they averaged 31 on the season. If they get to 30, I can't see the Bears covering this number. Yeah, watching their offense is absolutely, you know, pitiful. Besides Allen Robinson and probably Corderell Patterson, like, uh, there's no bright spots for me, especially when you're changing out quarterbacks. And I don't think their offensive line has been that great either. We saw Nick Foles kind of get hurt uh, in the last game because of it. Yeah. But I think if I took the Bears here and they lost, I would just be so embarrassed because it, the writing was on the wall. And I don't know how you trust their offense to put up any points. Granted, this Packers defense is nothing to write home about. Uh, it's definitely yeah. not a stout defense uh, in – most aspects, but you've got the Packers' big play potential when it comes to their offense. So when you're talking about covering a big number, you need an offense like that that can score at will. Uh, guys like Devontae Adams, who can always go for that big play. Uh, looking at a total here, the total's 45. Do you have any leans when it comes to a total? To, to be honest, after the first time these two teams played, I immediately put in my notes for the second game I was going under. I'm a little afraid of the number of 45, so I'm going to stay away from the total in this game, but that was my very first lean many weeks ago and more than likely it's going to be right because that's what happens then when you get off a game but uh, if I had to I would lean towards the under here. Well it's been hard playing unders lately just the way teams have been scoring mm -hmm. the ball and uh, it kind of rem reminds me I think the Bears and the Packers played in a primetime game to start the season either last year or the year before uh, where it was really low scoring but obviously these are two separate teams and, you know, it's a different offense for, for the Bears, at least. Packers, you know, still Aaron Rodgers. But uh, any other tidbits that you think better should know or when it comes to weather or things that they should check right before the game? Interesting numbers regarding uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers at home within the division. At Lambeau uh, against NFC North opponents, Rodgers is 22-12 and 12 against the spread. Uh, at home in general, within the division, Green Bay is 44-26 and 26 against the spread. Uh, and they're, they've covered seven straight games off a loss. So there are some favorable numbers. And again, if we go back and talk about the point spread and value, the line on the first meeting in Chicago was Green Bay minus four. They're laying a few more points here at Lambeau. That's the way I would go, I guess. Regardless, um, maybe it'll be a fun one to watch. Who knows? But that's going to do it for our football talk here on car uh, on Picks and Parlays. Excuse me. As always, great stuff from Lee. Thanks for joining us.